I like that one. <laughs> I, I, should, read, I should read it like that, though. <laughs> like baby from Cash Money. Oh, Why do you read it like that? <laughs> problem with Baker's <laughs> criticism of Daniel Jones. with it. <laughs> uh, I, I don't have a problem with his personality. I don't have a problem with him always wanting to smoke. Uh, I remember Deion Sanders getting drafted with 20 gold chains on. And the only thing I, I loved about that is he said, bullseye, come on. And he backed up every level and every one of them damn chains every single year he bought. So I love the personality. I don't like the content and what he was saying about Daniel Jones in specific. And it's not factual. It's just not. I mean, if you look at the quarterbacks, there's a list that is a divide of quarterbacks who won in college, like a Tim Tebow and Jameis Winston. How's it working in the pros? Not the same versus those who have lost in college. Elway, your favorite quarterback. Uh, Jared Goff, Super Bowl quarterback. Patrick Mahomes, the MVP of the league. They all lost in college. So uh, part of that retraction to me feels like, oh, one, I don't want to really come across like this to Daniel Jones. Who knows what he could become? But two, I'm actually incorrect in what my analysis is. So maybe somebody got to him and made him retract it. But still be yourself. Just fact, fact check before you go out yeah, there. Yeah, if you like. can play, you can play. And to, to back up your statement, Kellen Moore is the winningest quarterback in college football history. He's 30 years old. He's the offensive coordinator for the Cowboys. You know, so to back that up. But, yeah, same thing. I, I love his personality. I love that he's honest. I respect that. Um, it depends how the question was proposed. You know, he could have said, spoken for everybody else. Yeah, I was shocked, just like everyone else, you know, that they took him. I don't, I don't look at it as, as a shock because just, just based on I, don't, I wasn't there for the interview, but I don't think he would go out there and just start attacking people. Now, I know he's the type where you say something to him, then you never got to hear the end of it. But I don't, I don't see it as an attack. Well, he, talk, he attacked his own running back until he finally got traded away. Well, his running back, but I'm not saying... Well, no, well, unprovoked. Unprovoked, like, yeah. We don't stay in each other's pockets, you know. I got my own address. You got your own address. It's not your yeah, pocket. Yeah, 100% agree. Yeah. I, you know, you know, for a guy that keeps a list on everything that everybody else says, you know, you probably, <laughs> you probably ought to just, when it comes to other players, maybe you shouldn't, you know, put yourself down that road if you're Baker Mayfield. I, I get that part of it. I understand that things do oftentimes get taken out of context. We do it in this business all the time. Like, I remember talking effusive in my praise for Tim Tebow as a person, as an athlete, as a work ethic guy. And then I would say, you know, at the end of that, the caveat was, yeah, but from a quarterbacking standpoint, he doesn't have the discernible quarterbacking skills that it takes to play in this league. And the only thing that gets printed is, Schlera says that Tim Tebow doesn't have discer discernible quarterbacking skills, right? Mark <laughs> said he's a right? scrub. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right, right. So I understand how the game is played. I do understand that, uh, that standpoint. And the winning thing, like, my, my whole thing is, can you play or can you not play? You know, you hear it from guys I'm from lying. small schools all the time. Oh, this is a small school. He didn't play against competition. <clears throat> Man, can you play or can you not play? Right. Put on the film. Yeah. What is the film? What does my eyeballs tell me about this guy? If he can play, he can play regardless of, of what day. level he played at, whether he won in college or not. Well, where he's dead wrong, and Marcellus is right, is the key indicator that they say predicts success is the number of starts in college. That's what they say is critical. 17 and 19 means the guy started 36 games. That, that's like three seasons worth. It's the guys that come out after playing one season or two, Mark Sanchez. We got a kid, Kyler Murray, now that's coming out with just one season under mm -hmm. his belt. That's where the red flags start to fly. And so, look, I, I think I, I said this earlier today uh, on a radio interview. These guys that all want to be like Deion Sanders, mm -hmm. Jalen Ramsey, mm -hmm. I want to be Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders, Muhammad Ali, man, these are once-in-a-lifetime type guys, man. That's lightning in a bottle that you can be that guy. And to me, with Deion and with Muhammad Ali, that's just in them at birth. That's who they are. I see a lot of guys trying to be them. They weren't trying to be anything but themselves. And so this, to me, smells a little bit like Jalen Ramsey, the mm. talking too much and then... Jalen Ramsey, a really talented guy, but it blew up in his face. GQ putting something in the water. I don't know yeah. what they're doing. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what they're doing Everybody in the interviews, man. And so I, I, just, I, I just say be careful here, Baker. Uh, you know, let your play talk the loudest. Because man, that's an old bottle with like I know our age. Because but he can play, so I agree. Let that. Let well, agree that what? Agree what? The, the world has changed into the polarization. No, I'm saying I agree in terms of letting him let his play. Speak. No, you look, look. You can be understating this league and not get your proper monetary value or proper appreciation. For example, who? For, for example, one Richard Sherman and 
Darrell Revis just found this out the right way, like a Floyd Mayweather. Pretty boy Floyd was undefeated, and nobody gave a damn. Then he turned to Money Mayweather. Everybody said, let's make him the highest Well, athlete. speaking of what Sherman and let's, does. Yeah, let's keep going. Go ahead, go let's ahead, stay in our go. sport. Richard Sherman, those guys. Oh, it's great to go out there and get five interceptions, but get five interceptions and sell some smoke with it. Now, all of a sudden, you're a household name. Right. Dennis Rodman said, I was getting 18 rebounds when I was just a normal guy without pink hair. But once I did, all of a sudden, everything changed. There is something to selling that smoke. You just got to do it. You just got to back here's, it up. Here's the one thing about him. And, I, and, you know, having covered one of his games, called one of his games, talked to John Dorsey, the GM of uh, the Cleveland Browns. Uh, John Dorsey told me, I'll paraphrase, he's all onions. Like, he is who he is. He is 100% all in, all onions, in your face. That's who he is. And as long as you're authentic. Like That's I think, it. I think most, I think most players, most coaches, most guys, as long as you are who you are, you get away with it if you're Muhammad Ali because that's who you are. Right. You get away with it with Deion Sanders because you are that. It's not an act. And, and it's with Baker, it's not an act. He is who he is. So he's authentic, and that's that to me is the biggest part of it about. Right. It. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself, or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.